Today on Tech Week Review, we'll show you how to take your boring Windows XP computer and make it look and feel like a Mac. Right here, right now, Tech Week Review begins now. watching make Windows XP look like Mac OS X. This is part one of two. Now you may be wondering why you would want your Windows computer to look like a Mac. Well, if you've never messed around with an Apple computer before and are wondering what it's like to use one, then you can use this to experiment around with it. If you like the look of OS X and don't have the money to buy a Mac or don't want to buy one, you can download this software for free. Best of all, you get to keep all of your files and computer programs and have the flexibility of Windows XP. Did I mention to you it's also free? Before we start, here's a few technical things you need to know. Your computer must be a Windows XP computer. This will not work with Windows Vista. It will only work with XP. To download Fly a Kite OS X 3.5, simply Google it. That'll bring you up to here and choose the OS X 3.5 Fly a Kite from MajorGeeks.com or you can get it from the description. We have a link placed there for you. Click Downloads and go ahead and download the file. Once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and run it. A dialog box may appear. It's OK. Go ahead and click OK. Here is the setup wizard for uh, Fly a Kite. Um, OS X 3.5. Go ahead and hit accept and next and then next. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to check all of these. The various system tweaks, extra software, skins, um, extras, uh, system files, and then creating a restore point. So if the restore point, if something goes wrong, you have something to revert back to and we want to check all of these because that's what's going to give us the full effect when we make it and it says it'll take approximately uh, 300 megabytes 265.6 is what it says here go ahead and click next and we want the 48 by 48 max icons um, we're not going to use uh, 16 by 9 um, we don't need any of this and we don't need the administrator account to show on the welcome screen once you're done with that, go ahead and click Install. Your computer will make a System Restore Point, and after making a System Restore Point, it will begin installing the files. The installation may take a few moments. After installing and rebooting, there were a few updates, uh, two files specifically for our installation that um, needed to be updated and that were automatically updated in this case. You can see this computer is now starting to look like a Mac. We have the dock and the desktop wallpaper and icons all throughout the system look different now. The first thing we're going to do though is we are going to take this taskbar. You want to right click it and make sure lock the taskbar is disabled and drag the Windows taskbar all the way up so it's high up top. Yes, so it's nice and up top. Okay, um, to get rid of the start menu and a few other still windows looking things, um, we need to download, because this computer is running Service Pack 3, the uh, Service Pack 3 UX theme patcher. Um, this can be downloaded from Softpedia. We do have a link in the description below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download this file. By now, hopefully, you've noticed that the uh, Welcome to Fly a Kite OS X and the Tiger System Preferences have been added um, as well on your desktop. We have our zip file, UX Center, and you can see that it's got the Mac zip file. Um, we are going to go ahead and extract the files um, using our uh, WinRAR. You can use any extraction program 
or the default one inside Windows. Now that we have our file, we're going to go ahead and open up and run it. Okay, and it says the patch was successful and that we do need to reboot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and reboot and we'll see you on the other side of the reboot. Okay, and we're on the other side of that reboot now. Everything's gotten all done. Uh, you can see right now we are in Internet Explorer, and it's taken on the Mac theme, just like everything else. If you want to use Safari, just go to apple.com and download Safari. There is our dock, and when you minimize a program, it minimizes it right down in the dock. Yep. That's right, we get minimized right down in the dock. And it's got the authentic Mac look. And you go up into where the we move the start bar to. And it's got the Apple logo. And this does take you down to a similar looking uh, Windows uh, theme. As well as your typical uh, time and your programs in the task pane. If you would like to add a program to your um, dock here, simply take the program on your desktop, like for instance Trend Micro, and drag it and let go and there we have it. Trend Micro is right on there. Click it and it'll show you whether it's up. It works just like a Mac dock because it's almost the same thing. You've got your arrow indicating whether the program is on or off. Your Finder, which in this case is Internet or Windows Explorer, excuse me, Outlook Express for Mail, iTunes, Windows Media Player, uh, the iMovie icon takes you to Microsoft Movie Maker, and then the Control Panel brings you to your Control Panel, which is formatted to look like a Mac here. If you need to edit the uh, Tiger System Preferences, there is something on your desktop that's Tiger System Preferences and this is pretty much what it looks like. And you can go in and change the appearance, uh, dashboard, and different things. Um, certain things on this I've found do not work and others do. Some of this is integrated on in what should be in your control panel, uh, the default Windows control panel, and then others is just uh, the regular. So if we go in and we hit displays, we have appearances and the default Mac screensaver is also on here, as well as the desktop and the theme. And everything's all as it should.